Hi, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, for December 26, 2021. Here, you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, with the goal of hearing half of the Bible by January 9, 2022. We began this journey of hearing God's Word daily at the beginning of July, 2021, and so we continue. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And verse 18, He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Verse 20, For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. Verse 21, But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done, in God. John chapter 14 verse 6 reads, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And 1 Peter 2 24 reads, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we having died to sins might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. And the book of John, chapter 1, verse 4, reads, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And verse 9, That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. And finally, verse 14, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And Luke chapter 11 verse 28 reads, But he said, More than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. And Romans 10 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And so today, December 26, we shall hear Psalm 119 verse 72 through 96, Proverb 26, because it is the 26th day of the month, and there are 31 Proverbs, one seemingly for each day of the month. The Proverbs are God's wisdom. The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 1, chapter 1, verse 1 through 21, and the New Testament reading will be from the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 1 through 21. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And now, Psalm 119, beginning at verse 73. And it reads, Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let, I pray, your merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to your word to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they treated me wrongfully with falsehood, but I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes, that I may not be ashamed. Verse 81. My soul faints for your salvation, but I hope in your word. My eyes fail from searching your word, saying, When will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on those who persecute me? 
The proud have dug pits for me, which is not according to your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They also made an end of me on earth. But I did not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to your loving kindness, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Verse 89. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances, for all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I would then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen the consumption of all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Amen, amen, amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. And now the book of Proverbs beginning at 26 and it reads as snow in summer and rain in harvest so honor is not fitting for a fool like a flitting sparrow like a flying swallow so a curse without cause shall not alight a whip for the horse a bridle for the donkey and a rod for the fool's back do not answer a fool according to his folly Least you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Verse 7. Like the legs of the lame that hang limp is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds a stone in a sling is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. The great God who formed everything gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Verse 13. The lazy man says there is a lion in the road. A fierce lion is in the streets. As a door closes on its hinges, so does the lazy man on his bed. The lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. He, it wearies him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy man is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Verse 17. He who passes by and meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears, like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death, is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no tail-bearer, strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a tail-bearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the innermost body. Fervent lips with a wicked heart are like earthenware covered with silver dross. He who hates disguises it with his lips and lays up deceit within himself. When he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it rolled back on him. Verse 28 and last. A lying tongue hates those who are crushed by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. And now the Old Testament reading from the book of Obadiah. And by way of introduction, a struggle has begun in the womb between, two, between twin brothers, Esau and Jacob. Eventuates in a struggle between their respective descendants, the Edomites and the Israelites. 
For the Edomites' stubborn refusal to aid Israel first during the time of wilderness wandering, from the book of Numbers, chapter 20, verse 14 through 21, and later during a time of invasion, they are roundly condemned by Obadiah. This little-known prophet describes their crimes, tries their case, and pronounces their judgment total destruction. Amen, and amen, and amen. The Hebrew word Obadiah means worshiper of Yahweh or servant of Yahweh. Hmm. Amen. And now, chapter 1, verse 1, the book of Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah, thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a report from the Lord, and a messenger has been sent among the nations, saying, Arise, and let us rise up against her for battle. Behold, I will make you small among the nations. You shall be greatly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You will dwell in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high. You who say in your heart, Who will bring me down to the ground? Though you ascend as high as the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, says the Lord. If these had come to you, if robbers by night, oh, how you will be cut off. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If grape gatherers had come to you, would they not have left some gleanings? Oh, how Esau shall be searched out, how his hidden treasures shall be sought after. Verse 7, all the men in your confederacy shall force you to the border. The men at peace with you shall deceive you and prevail against you. Those who eat your bread shall lay a trap for you. No one is aware of it. Will I not in that day, says the Lord, even destroy the wise men from Edom and understanding from the mountains of Esau? Then your mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed, to the end that everyone from the mountains of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Verse 10, For violence against your brother Jacob Shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that strangers carried captive his forces, when foreigners entered his gates, and cast lots for Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. Verse 12. But you should not have gazed on the day of your brother. In the day of his captivity, nor should you have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, nor should you have spoken proudly in the day of distress. You should not have entered the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Indeed, you should not have gazed on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. You should not have stood at the crossroads to cut off those among them who escaped, nor should you have delivered up those among them who remained in the day of distress. Verse 15. For the day of the Lord upon all the nations is near. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your reprisal shall return upon your own head. For as you drank on my holy mountain, so shall all the nations drink continually. Yes, they shall drink and swallow, and they shall be as though they had never been. But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. But the house of Esau shall be stubble. They shall, be, they shall kindle them and devour them, and no survivor shall remain of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken. Verse 19, the south shall possess the mountains of Esau, and the lowland shall possess Philistia. Philistia. They shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria. Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captives of this host of the children of Israel shall possess the land of the Canaanites as far as Zarephath. The captives of Jerusalem who are in Sepharad shall possess the cities of the south. Verse 21 and last. Then saviors shall come to Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. And now the New Testament reading from the book of Revelation. 
beginning at chapter 9, and it reads, Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit, like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth, or any green thing, or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. This torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days men will seek death and will not find it. They will desire to die and death will flee from them. Verse 7. The shape of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. They had hair like woman's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails. Their power was to hurt men five months. And they had as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek he has the name Apollyon. Verse 12. One woe is past. Behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. Verse 13. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was two hundred million. I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions. And out of their mouth came fire, smoke, and brimstone. By these three plagues a third of mankind was killed, by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails are like serpents having heads, and with them they do harm. But the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see, nor hear, nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders, or their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Chapter 10 or their thefts. Amen, 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 amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, as is I pray, every hearer. I pray that every hearer has been delivered from every sickness and every destruction. And as it is written in the name of Jesus Christ, blessed is he who has heard these words, as it says in Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. And so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, that as we have heard, we have been blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in every area of our life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, 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 and amen in Jesus' name.